do you ever feel like you're not good enough? Don't. Everything you see on this, the computer, the mobile phone, the TV, everything, it's not real. There's a good chance you have the Instagram app on your phone. And there's also a good chance that you've uploaded photos onto your Instagram account. I know I have. Instagram is probably the biggest photo sharing social media site. And you have instant access to millions of photos taken by millions of photographers. It's a great way of seeing what people have captured. But how much do you see that people have actually captured? Take a little look at these photos for a minute. These are three photos which have gained thousands and thousands of likes on Instagram. Why? Well, I'm assuming it's because people think they look good. You see, if you like them or not, there's no doubt that they have gained a lot of attention from lots of people. But if I was to go out now with my camera and try and take photos like those, I couldn't. That's because they're not real. You see, there's two techniques which are used by photographers to achieve results similar to the ones that you've just seen right here. The first, everybody knows. Of course, it's photo editing or post-processing. The other is less known, but is still used by a select few, and that's compositing. This is kind of a special form of photo editing where you get multiple photos and bring them together to create one pretty amazing looking photo. Both of these processes don't happen in your camera, but they do happen in the computer, in your phone, or in the tablet. Nearly every professional photo that you've seen has probably been edited. Think of pictures of your favorite singers in magazines, even friends that you follow on social media. They've all had either filters added, skins being smoothed, or some kind of color correction has happened. All of them have been edited with the intention to improve the original photo. I hear the words often, I can never take photos that good. And you're right, you can't, but you can create images that look that good. If you like the look of these images, then you need to start spending as much time learning editing as you do learning photography. Because your passion's not just in photography, it's just as much photo editing or compositing. And it must be said that there actually is a lot of skill in editing photos if done well. There's also photographers out there that call themselves natural photographers, which like to capture the photo and make no changes to it. What they see in the camera is what they display. And this is a beautiful way of doing it. It's important to remember that whichever way that you choose, whichever style you prefer, there's no right or wrong. It's all about personal preference and personal expression. Hearing many complaints that if you display your photos straight from the camera on sites like Instagram without editing them, they can get lost in a sea of enhanced photos. And it's true, they probably will. What I would say to that is though, stop trying to appeal to the people that like chocolate. Instead, appeal to those who like vegetables. There are many groups, niches, or forums which have similar minded people. So don't try and appeal to the wrong audience. It's really important to remember what is real, what's unreal, achievable and unachievable. This doesn't just apply to photographers actually. Think of people who idolize celebrities and want to look like them because the celebrities may have had body or face enhancements in their photos. So these people are trying essentially to look like their role models through impossible and potentially really dangerous means. Awareness is the key. And the more awareness of what's real and not real, the better people will feel and the better choices people will make. This has been a completely different video from me today. I hope you enjoyed it. Occasionally I make these kind of videos and put them out there because I think in some way it might help people, especially people that have been feeling down or finding it hard to get going because probably they've been comparing themselves to others. Now you know 
from the photography perspective, that is. It's just as much editing as it is photography. If you've got this far in the video, you're a superstar, and it means you've probably enjoyed watching the video. If that's you, it would be wonderful if you hit that like button and just help this video get out to more people. Whatever you do for the rest of the day, guys, make sure it's a good one, and I'll see you in the next video.